crack chicken. I love cheese. Our cream cheese and dump that in there. All right, so grab your cheese. The Cooking with Jack Show, a YouTube cooking show that has given me an irrational fear of Italian men cooking chicken. If you know, you know. But hey, even if you don't know, that's all right, because today we are watching Jack cook some more chicken, so uh, I'm sure we're in for the usual. Now, if you've never seen a Cooking with Jack video, well, then prepare to have chicken ruined for you for at least the next 24 hours. Something about Jack Scalfani and chicken just just do not mix, and we're gonna see that today in a video called Cream Cheese Crack Chicken, which uh, just from the title does not does not sound very good. And this is a double whammy, people, because we've seen a lot of things go wrong on the Cooking with Jack channel when it comes to chicken, and we've also seen a lot of things go wrong when it comes to cream cheese, so uh, I'm expecting sort of a storm of forces here, and uh, I doubt it's gonna turn out well. Let's begin. Please subscribe. Hey guys, how you doing? Jack Scalfani here, Cooking with Jack show. And uh, we've had some fun with a lot of these videos. This one here is supposed to be a, a really good one. You know what, Jack? I don't believe you. You do not sound like you believe what you are saying. Why is this supposed to be a good one? Have you not tried out this recipe yet? You just throwing things at the wall? Makes sense. I love the name. It's called Cream Cheese Crack Chicken. That's right, and we're gonna do it in the Ninja Foodie. Take it easy, there's no crack cocaine in this recipe. All right, well, my interest has been lost. That's just the name of the chicken. You got chicken, you got some cheddar cheese sliced, you got some cream cheese, you got the sweet Hawaiian rolls, you've got the ranch packet right here of seasoning mix, you got some shredded cheddar, then you got some garlic powder, and then some bacon. Maybe I'm just not a true American, but I do not believe that anything where the main seasoning is a Hidden Valley Ranch packet can really turn out to be anything good. Don't get me wrong, a little bit of sour cream and some carrots goes kind of crazy with that stuff, but if you're using it to season an actual meal, you've taken a wrong turn somewhere. A minimum half cup of liquid and put it in the Ninja Foodie, even if I was slow cooking, which I'm not, I'm pressure cooking, so I'm going to take this chicken bone broth because we're doing chicken and cream cheese and shredded cheese and everything else. So let's put the liquid in first, because if not, you'll burn everything in the pressure cooker. All right, I want everybody to keep this warning in mind. This idea that this meal was gonna be too dry without this little bit of broth, just, just remember that, okay? There we go. Getting our three chicken breasts in here, or I think we're doing four today, but the rest of you will be down below, don't worry about it. All right, chicken's in there, chicken bone broth's in there. Now let's take our shredded cheddar. I love cheese. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm not questioning that. I've never seen somebody so enthusiastically pour an entire bag of cheddar cheese into a pot. Look, I'm not trying to sound like a food snob. I know I'm hating on some basic stuff, but really, add the cheese afterwards. I was almost used half that bag, by the way. But anyway, which will make it even better. Then we're gonna take our, our cream cheese and dump that in there. I mean, really, Jack, come on. You had to double the cheddar cheese serving when you're sticking two giant blocks of cream cheese into this dish. I mean, your stomach's gonna hate you after eating this. This much cheese is not meant to be processed by a single human. Then we're gonna take our, our ranch packet and a lot of slow cooker and pressure cooker recipes are using ranch seasoning. Okay, then our garlic powder. We're sprinkling that in there. Then we're gonna put the pressure cooker lid on this. Now I'm not a pressure cooker expert, but doesn't this warrant a bit of a stir? I feel like you are definitely not supposed to just dump everything in and cook it how it landed. This does not seem like it's gonna cook correctly. All the ranch seasoning and all the garlic powder is just gonna infuse into the cheddar cheese. And in this kind of dish where we're dealing with seven pounds of cheese, you're really gonna need all the seasoning you can get. This meal needs some help and a stir would really go a long way. I just wanna show you something I got for Christmas. You guys remember me talking about this? This deflects the steam. So when I open up that valve, the steam normally goes straight up and hits my microphone and I don't want that. It hits my pots and pans, it hits the ceiling and all that heat goes straight up 
on this. So this deflects the heat. I have not watched this far into the video. I skipped to the end, not gonna lie, but I have a feeling that there is absolutely zero chance that this even kind of works. This is the kind of thing you buy off wish.com at like four in the morning with all these hopes and dreams, and then you get it and realize you've made a terrible mistake. Okay, when something goes wrong on the show, I like to talk about it. Jack, I am sorry, but that is just, that is just a straight up lie. You have cooked raw chicken multiple times and never even addressed it. And I still refuse to believe that you are not aware that you're cooking raw chicken. So let me tell you what happened. So this device didn't work. This was leaving the valve open. It, was, it would not let the valve seal on my pressure cooker, which made my, my chicken broth evaporate out of the machine. I had to put another half cup of chicken broth in the machine to build it to pressure again. This right here might be one of the biggest mistakes in cooking with Jack history. Just you wait, my friend. All right, so we've already chopped up the chicken and mixed everything in with the cheese and everything. It's all in here and we'll give you a shot of it in a minute. But right now we're gonna take a cookie sheet and toast these buns uh, on our broiler. You can do it on a hot pan, as long as you get lightly toasted because this is very wet. Oh my God, so he knows. You see, like I said, I skipped to the end of this video just to see the end product, and I didn't really know if he was aware how uh, how moist this dish was. Knowing that he knows how wet it is, I think it might even be worse. You're probably imagining like some moist chicken. No, no don't, don't even waste your mental energy. You've got no idea, okay? So you want it to absorb this. This is gonna be really, really good. I can smell it. So get this in the oven and get it toasted. Let me show you what this goodness looks like. That's what it looks like. All right, so grab your cheese, place it right on the bottom. Jack, you seriously cannot be adding more cheese to this, right? This is a prank, right? Was this uploaded on April Fool's? There is no need for more cheese, Jack. Get a scoop of your chicken mixture. Don't worry if it kind of goes all over the place. It's supposed to. Just ooze everywhere. Look at that, all over that cheese. A cheesy sauce, all the cheese. Then take your crumbles and start putting bacon all over it. There we go, and then take your roll, top it off just like that, and there you go. All right, ingredients aside, this is not meant for a sandwich. I mean, there is so much liquid here that there is no way that this bun stands a chance. I don't care if you throw it into a volcano. If you wanna eat this as like a soup, go ahead to be my guest, but trying to pass this off as a genuine sandwich topping, I'm not gonna have it. It's gonna be real messy. Okay, I'm gonna give this a try, but I'm gonna open the bun. I'm not eating the bun today. You can have it in a bun, you can have it on a potato. You can put this mixture on nachos, do whatever you want. But let's give the chicken a try. Here we go. Mm. That cheesy mixture is to die for. All right, like I said, not trying to be a food snob here, but purely constructively, you know, nothing against you, Jack, just seriously a constructive recommendation. If you find cheddar cheese, cream cheese, and ranch seasoning mixed together to be to die for, it really might be time to expand your food horizons. I promise you there are much better things out there, Jack. It is unbelievable with the bacon. Unbelievable. So you can eat this just in a bowl by itself, put it on a hoagie. Mmm. Just enjoy it however you want to enjoy it. I think my personal preference is not having it at all, Jack. Thanks for understanding. Well, what do you guys think? Am I being a bit too hard on this recipe? I know a lot of simple recipes like this exist, and they're good to have in your back pocket, but acting like this is addicting as crack and that it's like to die for, I mean, I just can't agree with that. I've had stuff like this, and it's just not for me, especially when there's so much juice that you feel like you're eating a soup. No, Jack, this, this does not belong on a hoagie. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, and walk on over to that subscribe button and touch it. It's free. It won't cost you anything. But for now, that's all I have for you today. Bye.
subscribe.